I never thought I'd be ashamed to raise my kids in Canada. I thought Canada was a better choice. But for right now, it's really not. Stephanie Whaley and her Stony Creek family are desperate to help their 13-year-old daughter, Ella, fight cystic fibrosis, a genetic disease that affects many organs, especially the lungs and their air capacity. Like, I do a lot of treatments in the morning and stuff, and like whenever I'm having like a sleepover and stuff, I always have to worry about doing my treatments instead of like um, just having fun. 4.6 hours of her a wake day is hooked up to a machine. Ella, who was featured on CHCH News seven years ago about her daily routines, has been living a full life, but that all changed in January. We'd go to the grocery store or uh, shopping. She would have to use a cart to kind of help her. She's out of breath. She's tired. She's exhausted because her entire body is just focusing on trying to get that oxygen in. The Whaley's have their hopes set on a new wonder drug called Trikafta, which is licensed in the United States, but not Canada. We're raising all of this money for research, and now we're being told that the government gets the final say. In an email to CHCH, Health Canada says they have not yet received an application from the drug's producer, Vertex. The director of Cystic Fibrosis Canada says that's because the federal government is overhauling the application process. We set the maximum price that a drug can be sold in Canada. That process is, is going under revision, and those revisions have caused a significant chill in the pharmaceutical industry. There's been a significant drop in the number of new drug applications. Whaley says this drug could change her family's life. If you take diabetes as a reference, this is their insulin. While Ella is setting herself up for a realistic outcome. By the time I'm like in university and stuff that I'll have the drug. Her mother, who was born in America, is willing to move there and sponsor her family in order to get their hands on the medicine. It's my kid's life. And if we have to break up our family for me to get that access, I will. Stephanie Stavros of Pickering was given Trikafta for free by the supplier, but only because her lung capacity was less than 30%. She now works with families as they advocate for the drug to come to Canada. I encourage them to make an appointment with their MP, to tell their story, to write letters to the government, and and let them know they can make a change in this country. Change the Whaley's hope happens quickly. In another email to CHCH, Canada Health says the changes to their license process will protect Canadians from excessive prices of patented medicines. Now, the changes were supposed to be implemented in July, but the pandemic increased demands on the pharmaceutical industry related to supply chains and shortages. So Health Canada delayed the changes until January 1st, 2021.